is, is semi-conscious but also has a neck wound as well. Uh, but sounds like there could be uh, quite a serious incident. For an update, uh, crew were hanging. Uh, they've got there and immediately asked for your assistance. South Shields sounds dodgy as out to Thanks, Mike. I see some horrific injuries, um, some horrific scenes. There is a certain degree of patient where they're so badly injured that there's only certain things will save their life. Hello, which house is it? Next door. Next door. It's falling into the glass. Oh fuck, right, okay. There's blood everywhere. Oh, no. Right, let's have a look. Mike? Yes. Just chuck with a size four blade, size eight tube. Come on. He's totally shut down. How old's this lad? Seventeen. He's falling at the somebody at the top of the stairs, smashed the tubes. Please walk down. Come, well, we don't know. We don't know if he's falling down the rest of them or what. There's no time to lose. I'm there as a trauma doctor to apply my skills for one reason, and that's to try and save his life. Mike. Yep. Bougie. Bougie is it next to you? Tube, Mike. Tube's coming on. Oh yes. Come on, come on, come on. Right. Got it. Right. Got it. Thank you. Who's you out? Who's just coming out? All ready to go. He'd run out of blood um, to pump round his body, so um, he'd lost his pulse. No output? No. Okay, can we we'll have to start CPR? <laughs> Right, let's go ahead. Keep going for you. Thanks, Mike. Understood. Um, that last call was uh, the, the crew are now doing CPR on this young guy. So um, they've uh, lost his, his output, his heart stopped. Can I have some adrenaline as well, please? You're going through what your emotions would be on scene and, you know, I guess you, you focus as much as you can, but you know how desperate the situation is. Well, just keep it running. Second fluid back on. Yeah, that's still, 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 left yet. Go. still nothing. Go again. Okay, go again, Mike. <laughs> okay, run the fluid again. Yeah. Cheers. What happens if the person who was injured would be someone that I knew, one of my family or friends? You know, what would I want uh, for them? And you know, you've just got to try your best and do everything for people. Hold it there, please, Mike. BF, can you shock it, please? Shock. Yeah, charge up. Yeah. 
off. I'm gonna leave it closed. No, I'm gonna leave it closed. Good go. Shock. Yeah. Shock. Okay. Go, Mike. Go. Sarah, just on now. Move that. Let's right hold it there. Has he got a central pulse? Check femoral, please. I can mic? Yeah. Yeah, go femoral. Yeah, I've got a crotch as well. Okay, we've got an output. Keep bagging him. Stop the fluid. Okay, we need to get him out and down now. We got an output back on the young lad. Then we were obviously then faced with the problem of how do we get him out from the very narrow stairway that he was in in the upstairs of the house. Can you put pressure on this, but just very focally in the middle of it? Yeah. You got it? Yeah. I'm going to speak to Andy. Air desk. Right, I've got a 17-year-old lad who's fallen into a sunbed. Uh, the tube has smashed and it's gone through his left side of his neck. Um, he's hit his jugular and crotted teeth um, and essentially bled out and arrested. Um, we've got vascular control and we've got an output back. Yeah, Dion, got that. I'll ring the RVI. That's all I'll need, mate. Uh, Jay, standing by. Cheers. Um, just tell him it's really bad, Andy. I will do, mate. Take care. Did you get that, mate? Right, OK. So stand by for that, buddy. Yeah, we just need extrication. Yep. So can you just sort out everything to get us out? Yeah. You OK there? Yeah. Whatever we do, we mustn't lose this line, otherwise we're screwed. Mark, it's Andy, Great North. Mate, we've got a really, really bad job coming here. OK? I don't know if you can think of anything to speed the process up to get him down to a &E, but whatever you can think of, mate, do it. Guys, just bring him this way. We'll stand him head up, but he can't be head up for long, so we've got to get downstairs quickly. Okay? Wait. Keep coming. Keep going. Sorry. Is everyone ready? Yeah. Okay. Ready, steady, this way. Lift. Brilliant. Right, and get him down the stairs. At all times, we had to keep pressure on his neck wound because um, if we released the pressure, we'd obviously start bleeding again. Yeah, just keep your hand out of the way. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Let's get him on the stretcher. Stop there. Right, guys, we're at the end of the street and left. So right to the very end. Right, far side, yeah. He goes on feet first. Yeah. It was very conscious in my mind that one, we had to get him to hospital quickly, but also that he could rearrest at any time. Feet first. Feet first. Feet first. Yeah. Quick start. Okay. Right. Okay, I've got that. Right, starting. Okay, we're all good in back. We're in secure. I'm on comms. Hello again, Helimed 6-3 Alpha. I don't We're at uh, one minute from the uh, RVI. Mike, everyone standing by and ready for you. Okay, okay, Mike. Over. okay go. Straight down, yeah. My hand was pressing on that patient's neck all the way down with the transfer to the helicopter and then all the way into the hospital. Clear the corridor, yeah. Right, before we do anything else, he's got a great cannula in his right arm. Can someone put blood on it? Blood on the right arm. Well, okay, 17 year old lad who's fallen into a sunbed, the tubes have smashed and they've gone through the left side of his neck. He's had about a six minute arrest, he's had three adrenalines, he's had three and a half litres of fluid. 
and um, we've got an output back. It's uh, in and out of PEA, but he's oh. now got a very weak central pulse. How many stairs did he come down to? We don't know if he fell down the stairs or whether he stumbled down the stairs with his neck wound and then collapsed. We've no idea. I haven't protected Have his neck because I can't. I've got vascular control, he's got cell scores on, I've got control. Do you want to uh, carry on doing that yeah. for a minute? Yeah. Oh. Get one, Arvin. Okay. Yeah, oh, you, know, yeah. you just take As a doctor, I'll do everything in my power on scene to try and save someone, no matter how bad the odds. But no matter how hard we try on scene or you know, in the helicopter on the way to the hospital, things can still go wrong, uh, but we do our best and that's all we can do.